Hello everybody and welcome. In this video we are going to jump right into sketching with Krita version 4.0. You can tell which version you have by clicking on help about Krita. We will quickly get an overview of the user interface, discuss some of the brushes and talk about the advantages of using a drawing pad over a mouse. Here we have an empty file. The first thing to do is to start a new document. Click on File New. We can choose from a variety of templates. Let's choose Design Templates and pick the first one. Here we start with an empty canvas. Take a moment to look at what we have. In the middle we have the canvas where we will be drawing and painting. We also have a bunch of so-called dockers open. On the left we have the Tools Docker. This contains a list of the tools we can use. On the right we have some more dockers. On the top we have a color selector docker. Note we have three tabs here. These are actually three different dockers. Click on the tabs to inspect them. We have the advanced color selector, the tools options and overview. The Tools Options Docker is a very useful docker and we will be learning more about it later. Above the canvas we have a toolbar. This toolbar gives some buttons and options related to the brush. On the bottom right we have two more dockers. Layers and Brush Presets. These dockers are pretty useful and we will also be discussing these later. For now let's click on the Brush Presets tab. First make sure you have all selected in the drop down list. Here we have a list of the default brushes which come with Krita version 4.0. There are quite a lot of brushes. Don't worry, there's absolutely no need to be familiar with them all. Let's narrow down this selection and choose digital from the drop down list. This brush is called Basic 5 Size. Look at the bottom left to see the name of the brush. In the Tool Docker, make sure the Brush tool is selected, then draw on the canvas. It's a thick black line. We can use one of the color pickers to change the color with which we draw. If you are on a graphics tablet, you will notice that the width of the line is not constant. The width of the line depends on the pressure you use to push down on the tablet. This is extremely useful. Try it out yourself. Push down lightly for a thin line or push down strongly for a thick line. If you are using a mouse then the width and the line is automatically set to maximum. I'm not saying that it's impossible to draw with a mouse but this pressure sensitivity that comes with using a graphics tablet makes things much easier. I'm using a relatively cheap Wacom CTL471. At first it's pretty difficult to draw steady lines like this, but practice makes perfect and Krita has stabilizers to help with this. Now let's pick another brush. Let's pick this one, basic 5 size opacity. As we draw with this we see that the brush has, five, has different characteristics. First of all it's lighter in color. This is because it is partially transparent. The opacity is pressure dependent. Push down lightly to get a transparent line. Push down strongly to get an opaque line. Now let's go back to the opaque brush. We can change the maximum size of the brush up here. If we change the brush size the width of the line is much larger. A super handy shortcut is to hold down the left shift key and draw a horizontal line on the canvas. Try it yourself. Drawing to the left makes the size smaller and drawing to the right makes the size larger. We can also change the opacity of the paint here. Please note that changing the opacity and the brush side here is only temporary. Finally, let's have a quick look at organizing the brushes. We want to use the this brush more often so we can create a tag for it. Let's create a tag named favorite. 
Then let's go back to the brush and right click on it and click Assign to Tags Favorites. Congratulations, you have unlocked skill level 1. You should now be able to create some doodles in Krita. Why not draw some doodle like this?